Hi everyone, it's Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. I wanted to show you today that I received the moisture trap for my airbrush. It connects to the gun. There's also a moisture trap on the compressor itself. And although I release the moisture from that trap, I still get moisture in the hose. So I ordered this from Master, which is the make of my, um, my compressor. And over here, I don't know how well you can see this, it's got another moisture release valve. And I'm going to give it a try today. So I wanted you to see, because I haven't been able to blow the pedals the way I like to, because I've had so much, uh, there's been so much rain here where I live, and my studio is in my basement, so it's very damp down here. And although I have a dehumidifier, it doesn't seem to be enough. The basement's pretty big, so obviously I need something bigger, I think. Anyway, so I have some inks down here, and I'm going to try and blow a petal like I normally do. It doesn't seem to be spitting any moisture onto the paper. And that's good. So far, so good. It's a little awkward to hold, but I'll get used to it, I guess. Now, I bought this on Amazon. I, or um, yeah, I ordered it from Master. Again, the, the same make as my compressor. And I think I paid like $9 for it. So if you have an airbrush and you're having problems with the moisture, I really recommend getting one of these because so far it seems to be making a big difference. I haven't been able to make petals like this in a couple of weeks, but there's been so much rain in New Jersey where I'm at.
I think I'm back in business. Now I use 99% isopropyl alcohol, which should evaporate faster than a lesser percentage, but it still takes forever to dry for me. And if you don't let it dry, uh, rather, if you don't dry it completely when you're blowing petals, I'll show you what happens. You get these little uh, these little rings and um, this one looks rather phallic so you have to make sure that you dry it completely otherwise you get those funny little marks at the end so it's taken me some time which I guess I, I don't know why that is But at least I can blow petals again. So if you have issues with moisture in your airbrush, it's absolutely worth the nine to ten dollar investment. Because I was having water splat all over. Um, I was also getting these really weird narrow little petals very very strange I'll make sure to put the link for the one that I purchased in the description below the video if you'd like to take a look You can also take a cotton swab and dry it off. I lost mine. And uh, I'll show you once I'm finished with this. These funky little petals that I'm getting. Um, the ends of it, rather. I'll show you what you can do. As soon as I'm done with this one. You can so uh, soap up, rather, sop up some of the excess alcohol. With a cotton swab. But even if you get some wonky petals that you're not crazy about, I'll show you what you can do. This one, obviously, I have to do again because obvious reasons.
Okay, so let's say you get some petals that you don't like the way they look, like this one here. I could blow over it, or I can just take the clean part of my cotton swab, put some alcohol on it, and if the colors are light enough, you can usually clean them up. Clean up the ink and shape the petal any way you like. Just make sure to keep turning the cotton swab so that you don't end up rubbing more ink onto the paper. This one here has that little droplet. I'm just going to erase it completely. Now I normally don't shape my petals because I like the odd shaped ones. I think it's pretty. But um, let's see. This one has one of those little droplet or odd shaped tips. And this one I'm still not crazy about. So I may just actually blow over this one again. I didn't blow over that area that I didn't like so I'm going to take cotton swab with some alcohol and erase it so there you go now, just if you want to know the colors I used, I used Sailboat Blue, um, Espresso, Meadow, and Pink Flamingo, or rather Flamingo. So now I will do a center on this. And if you have any questions regarding the, the, the moisture trap that I just purchased, um, let me know. This is great. And so far I can see that it's making a difference. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You can also follow me on my Facebook page, Vivo Vintage Designs. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Bye.